Welcome back, guys. Um, we are in the depths of Area 51 right now. Um, they know that we're in here, so uh, I'm going I'm to try to get out of here as, as quick as I can. Um, security's tight right now, though. I don't know if I can. It's, it's going to be tough. Um, I, you know, I don't know what they've got in here, but it's, it's definitely something that they don't want us to know about. So, um, whoa. What's that? What's that? Is that a damn minigun I see? Oh my god. <gasps> That's right. I had the jetpack before they did. I think after this mission you get access to it, but uh, I don't think you can just use it whenever you want. I think you have to you have to come back here to get it and you can like only use it inside this complex, which which uh, yeah. That yeah, kind of takes a lot of the fun out of it, unfortunately. Luckily, this is a cheap run, and I can pull up a jetpack anytime I want. Okay, I see some scientists in there. I'm going to go that way. The door to the launch bay with the black project has been stored is locked. Find the keycard to access it. Huh. Take my pass card and go. Excellent. Thank you, sir. I didn't even have to kill the guy. Isn't that heartwarming? I think that's heartwarming. Finally, a happy ending in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. One person didn't have to die. Jetpack that I've been using for the whole game already. <laughs> Press and hold R2 to increase thrust. Nice. And because we disabled the anti air missiles, I'm not going to get shot down from flying over this place. Hopefully, that persists after this mission so I don't have to worry so much about this area. Because as it is, I constantly have to worry about accidentally flying over this place and getting shot at. Doing a little strafe in there. Here you go. You better stash it somewhere fast. Far out. Have a nice trip, dude. Hey, wait a... Ah, was it too much to ask to get a lift in the town? Nice. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Okay, um, so I have to get back to the airplane graveyard. It would be nice if I had like a helicopter or something. They really expect you to just run back to the airplane graveyard from here. You have to run all the way down the mountain. At least let the player keep the jetpacks so that they can fly back to the airport. You know, like what I'm doing right now. This isn't so bad. But no, instead, instead, why, why do that when we can just make the player run all the way back? It's ridiculous. What's the deal with all these planes that are taken apart? 
I mean, is someone going to put them back together? What's, what's going on here? Is this like a junkyard for planes? I don't even know. Alright, I believe we have one more mission here. And then it's back to Los Venturas. And we have a couple more missions there. And then it's back to Los Santos. And then we have the last couple of missions there. So we are very close to the end right now. Damn, where is this fool? Whoa, Whoa holy shit. Hey, Willie Nelson's got the jetpack. This is crazy. The new age begins here. Say what? Not all fantastic things are lies, Carl. Today we'll know everything. Oh, I can hardly wait. I hear knowledge is truly sacred in this part of the world. Man, I've tried, but I can't fight for shit. You better do it. Land on the train, kill the guards, get in and steal the stuff. Oh, yeah? What stuff? I don't know. You don't know yet. Oh, <laughs> you don't know yet. I was starting to think he was a lunatic. What you mean you don't know yet? You'll be stealing the answer. Look. Fly the jet pack. Oh god. On the train. I have to land on a train. They least want no, to no, no, no. No more train missions. No more train missions. Uh well, I don't remember hearing about this mission or reading about it anywhere, so it might not be too bad. But first Five to ten minutes of flying to get back to the uh, next mission. Yep. See the train. Okay, let's get over there and try to get in for a landing. Oh man, this train is crawling with booms. Can't see anything right now. Wait, there's one more crate. It's in the back. Let's go get it. Yeah, it's a good thing I have all that practice using the jetpack from the rest of the Grab the jar of green goo. Oh boy. You have the jar of green goo. Take it to Ron the Truth Killings. Alright, let's go. Did you see the way it was glowing? That was crazy. I wonder what's in it. It's like the mutagen from, from uh, Ninja Turtles. What is this lunatic going to do with this? I got something. We're going to come see. back and he's going to be a giant rat. Ooh. Everything is different now. What is it? Everything. They will call this Year mm -hmm. Zero. I'll be in touch. Wait! What is... Yeah. See you around. Asset acquired, excellent. What is this? I'm peeking on the blue press. Free fall. Yeah. Free Fall is actually a great uh, reference. That was the name of the final episode of Miami Vice. Well, well, well. What do we got here? Free Fall. Here's your sandwich. One of the more well-known episodes, thing? I would say. I don't usually do this kind of shit. Yet. And we know that the guys that make these games are big <laughs> like fans of Miami girl. Vice because they uh, name, they kind of made an entire Maria. game based the on the series. Is not included. Flight is due to land soon. Intercept the plane before it gets to this. So, does this plane I'm driving right now have weapons on it? Because I don't understand how I'm supposed to intercept. I don't have weapons. And 
I'm rapidly losing altitude. There we go. We are stabilizing. Delta one liner, we are stabilizing. We are expecting a slight curve one. Okay, we are stabilized. Very good. So, yeah, I managed to intercept this plane somehow. weapons on this thing. Maybe I'm supposed to like land on top of the plane and, and like push it downward toward the ground. I don't I don't know what to do here. How, uh, how far out are we here? Cause uh yeah what the shit? This is the edge of the map. We're off the edge of the map right now. It's, it's pretty uh, pretty trippy, actually. It's like when you're flying over the Atlantic Ocean in, in an, a real plane, and you check your GPS, and your GPS like doesn't even respond. It just tells you to leave it alone. It shows you a picture of the Atlantic Ocean, and it's like somewhere in here. Uh, it's starting to get a little dark outside, as you can see. Another Grand Theft Auto session as the sun goes down. <sighs> okay. Just flying around a circle. Waiting. Just waiting. Still waiting. Trying to level the plane out. really weird. Am I even still moving? I can't even tell. Yeah, yep, I am completely off the map. <sighs> this is weird. Oh, shit. There it is. There's the plane. There's the plane. Whoa, okay. Alright. Alright, found it. Found it. <laughs> some altitude now it looks like. It should be right in front of me here. There it is. Okay. It's going way faster than I am, so WTF. It's going way faster than I am and it's going a lot higher than I can, so what's the deal here? Is it gonna come down at some point? And very confused. Yeah, like I, I literally cannot fly any higher than, than uh, see that little meter by the map? That's as high as I can go. And as you can see, I'm already pretty much there. What? How the hell was I supposed to catch up with them when they were going faster than me and they were higher than my plane can go? This is, this is such a stupid game. I'm telling you. Can't wait for this game to be over. Alright, let's try this again. Hop in the plane, fly out to sea for about seven or eight minutes until I get to the uh, plane I'm supposed to catch. Do a sharp U turn when I finally find it, and uh, attempt a highly improbable uh, intercept for the plane that's going faster than mine. This game, I'm telling you. This is, you know, this is par for the course for this game. You can't just start you over the water chasing down the plane that you're supposed to intercept in like a fun race. You can't just do that. No, it has to make you fly for uh, an ungodly amount of time over the ocean just to get to your target. And then your target just appears with no warning and it, it expects you to. to stop on a dime and then turn around and catch up to the plane which has now gained substantial ground on you and uh, catch up before it gets to the city I mean it's just all right there's my target speaking of which Let's see if I can fly through that ring Ooh! that was um, that was kind of lucky 
I flew through the Corona the way it wanted me to, but uh, I flew through it nonetheless. All right, remember, no gunfire on planes. Just, just a pro tip hey, for life. Oh, look at this. They're all shooting their guns. Okay, great. I guess, uh, I guess I'll have to shoot mine too then. It's kind of relaxing, huh? Just fly in a plane in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Good job. I've been kind of deliberating on whether I want to play um, Grand Theft Auto 4 after this. I know I was saying a lot that I'm totally Grand Theft auto out after this, and I just don't want anything to do with this series anymore. <laughs> like, I don't even want to look at another Grand Theft Auto game after this. But, I don't know, it's, it's, it's more of a palate cleanser situation. You know, you just think about, like, playing GTA 4 or 5 just to kind of cleanse the palate of this game. And I know that sounds sacrilegious to a lot of people, but if you've been following this series, you know why I have issues with this game. But, uh, shit, landing here, landing here. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that was a terrible landing. We're gonna, we're gonna loop around and try that again. Man, this airline is getting sued. Well, if there were, if there were actual passengers on it. So, okay. Bank hard, going for a real hard landing here. All right, here we go. Right. Going for a hard landing. Oh, oh, so graceful. So, so graceful. Wow. Oh man, such a graceful landing. All I have to do now is kind of turn it around and drive it. Just drive it over to the. Uh, Huh. Why haven't I gotten a mission complete? What, what is happening right now? <sighs> Boy. This is one thing after another with this game, I'm telling you. Okay. The plane is now exploding. Okay, the plane has stopped exploding. We're good. Yeah, I've landed the plane. I've landed the plane right on the runway that it wanted. Maybe stop the plane right here. Nope. Okay. This is really dumb. Wow. Okay, wow. Oh man, I was just gonna say, like, I'm just gonna keep doddering around on this runway until the plane eventually blows up and then I failed a mission that I had successfully finished as far as I'm concerned. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm glad it waited until after I finished the mission before it exploded. This game, I'm telling you. This fucking game. Huh, this is a mission that I missed doing earlier. Oh shit, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to skip that cutscene, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible let's player, let's be honest. Yeah, I didn't I don't I don't want to skip any cutscenes that have Officer Tenpenny in them. Seriously. He's he's like a great villain, I think. Just a spectacular asshole. Yeah, did not mean to skip that scene, but hey, if I fail the mission we'll get to see it again four or five times. So yeah, nothing to worry about. So this mission's out in the middle of nowhere too, eh? Just like all the other missions out in the middle of nowhere. I love the way you can get hit by a car while you're using the jetpack and it won't kill you. It'll just like bounce you in the air. As long as your feet aren't on the ground, it doesn't count as getting hit by a car. Uh, is there a plane I could hop in to get to where I'm going a little quicker? Jesus, how much further do I have to fly here? Holy shit. 
Jesus, I'm, I'm not even... I'm like a third of the way there after all this flying. I'm, I'm a third of the way to the mission. Can you believe that? Man, the color scheme in this room gets pretty nice when it starts getting dark. Because all you have is the light from the TV, pretty much. And uh, it's kind of cool. Nice illuminating effect. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to play uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 anytime soon. If I do, I'm definitely not going to make videos of them. <laughs> you know, making videos for San Andreas seemed like a really good idea when I started doing it. Because it's, it's like a fun game to mess around in. But given how frustrating this game has been, um, I don't know, I just... I can't imagine that it's been that fun to watch these videos, quite honestly. I've had a lot of technical difficulties, and the game itself makes me angry, even without the technical difficulties. Just the, the design of this game is very frustrating. So yeah, I'm on the fence about uh, doing GTA 4 next. There's so much other stuff that I want to play right now. I've got actually a backup of things that I want to play. And right now I'm, I'm mainly focused on finishing up with the things that I wanted to finish last year and didn't. So once I finish up with this game and the other things I'm working on, then maybe, maybe I can fit GTA 4 in there somewhere. It's possible. Battery for controller one is low. I should probably fix that. See, the PS3, once the PS3 tells you that the battery's low, you have like four minutes before it'll just die on you. Hold on, I'm gonna plug that in. There we go. Boom. All set. All right, let's get this helicopter out of here. Just like Marshall, this style's gonna be the fog. Just like Marshall, all smoked up in crazy thing like that. No best friend got up to an alert. Don't let the target get away. Where is the target? Oh, oh I see it. It's way the hell down there. Okay. This um, this helicopter that I'm driving, uh, it, it does not have any weapons on it. Oh look, it's the dam from uh, Fallout New Vegas. It looks just like it does in there. Yeah, this helicopter does not have weapons on it, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to intercept this other helicopter. I don't see any ring like with the other mission that I, that I can just like land on it with. I mean, unless we're supposed to just collide with it, but that seems counterproductive. Alright, I'm trying to I'm trying to gain ground right now. I'm like I'm flooring I'm flooring the uh, uh flooring the button to, to get higher up here. Absolutely flooring it. Alright, now I'm too high. Jesus. Too low. And now I can't seem to get. Uh, okay, there we go. We got a pretty, pretty level height here. Problem is, I have that wanted level because I made the mistake of flying over Area 51, which I thought was a safe zone now since I cleared that mission. Uh, this sucks. There's, there's no way that I can. There's no way I can do the mission when I'm getting shot at by other helicopters. Alright, stars are cleared, but it doesn't matter. I've already been shot down. <sighs> Watch this, it's going to make me fly all the way back across the world to get back to that mission. Well hey, game's almost over. Might actually finish it tonight.
you know what? I got a better idea. The bright side, we'll get to see that cutscene that I skipped earlier, and then I think I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Hello, Carl. So I'll see you next time. Been a long time, huh? Yeah, I was starting to miss you guys. Now why don't I believe you? Get over here! Now things have developed since the last time we met. Despite our best efforts, the gig's nearly up. I'm sure you'll find some way to keep your bag. Your kind always do. You still don't get it, do you, Carl? This ain't about keeping some fucking badge. Hey, listen to the man. We all the same, Carl. You, me. We all trying to pull ourselves out of the hole. Somebody steps on me, I gotta step on you. Where's Hernandez with that fucking meat? He's been gone too long, Tenpenny. <laughs> Getting a little edgy, fellas? Oh, how you like that, you piece of shit? That give you any idea how edgy I am? Whoa! Get up, bitch! You paying attention? Now, there's a ruined town out west of here. Aldea Malvada. And there's some piece of shit DEA officer meeting with an FBI agent with a dossier. Now, you get the dossier and you make both of them disappear. Hope we didn't keep you waiting, Holmes. No, I was just chilling. <laughs> I bet you were. At the dossier? Hand it over. Hey, everything cool now? I don't know, Carl. Eddie? Ah, our boy's done good. No! Oh! You snitch piece of shit! You Bato asshole! You sold us out! Time to dig, Carl. You take care of things. Huh? Where are you going? To get drunk and get laid. You got a problem with that? No, Frank, relax. Good. I'll see you back at the precinct. And I'll see you in the next life, Carl. Good. That's deep enough for two. Eddie Tampenny just using you. He's using all of us. 
You're the next one he's gonna silence, man. Shut the fuck up, scum! And it's Officer Pulaski to you! Fucking die! so fucking full of yourself now, huh? <coughs> yeah, well, them's the brakes, fuck. Any last requests? Yeah. <coughs> Can I fuck your sister? You an asshole to the end. Punk motherfucker. <laughs> 